<laughs> we are live. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Howdy doody. <laughs> it's Jules okay, and I. Okay, honey. You, you can What's start that? when you want. Okay. Say hi, hey, Jules. Today. We're making uh, tacos, rice, and beans tonight. Hello, Jules. Sure there's no, I mean, I'm sure you guys have your own favorite uh, products, <laughs> but I'm using Nor Mexican rice. Yeah. Hi, Julian. I'm using the Rosarita refried, it's famous from Cheech and Chong. Mm. Hey, honey, did you hit that button? What? Did you hit the live I, button on there? Coming with, coming with you says you're mm. live. I don't know. Which button you is that? Us? Did something pop up? What? I can see you both. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Julian. Um, <laughs> hey, tonight I'm using Hi, this. Gordon. Hello. Tonight I'm using this kit because it's got soft and crunchy in here. Just so y'all can see both. Right? We pretty much prefer crunchy, but soft is good every once in a while, too. Yep, so I'm the same way. Yeah. You know, I, what I wish they made is on the soft ones, how they make these little bowls here. Yeah, I wish they, made, I wish they, I wish they made those crunchy. Me too. Oh, yeah. But the closest too, they have to that is these ones that they call standing stuff. So they're wide at the bottom and they'll stand up flat mm -hmm. while you're filling them. Mm -hmm. They do, but when okay, you take a bite, they break. But they yeah. taste good. <laughs> yeah. Right, Jewel? Do they taste so good? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start browning my hamburger meat. Hi, Florida. Hello. Hi, Florida. What am I doing? So I got to get my I got to get my phone out so I could say hi to everybody. Hold on, let me go get my going up. Hmm? Going up. No, I'll stay down. I can go up. What what? I can go up. You don't have to go up. I like when you're with us. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Clarissa. Hope everybody's having a fine Monday or as fine as a Monday can be. I'm retired, so every day is Saturday. So <laughs> <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unless oh, Nana Patty's awake, then it's a work week. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. 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 I didn't say nothing. You didn't mm -hmm. say anything. anything. Anything I get away with, I get away with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Florida. Hi, Clarissa H. Or as Dave would say, hi, Clar. Clar. I guess you would say Claire. Oh. Hi, Floor. <laughs> oh, Julian left. Hi, Floor. Hi, Lise. Hi, Lise. <laughs> Do hi, like Nana. Hi, Gordon. Hi, no, Clarissa. don't, don't hi, bite Florida. my iPad, Jules. Jules is biting the iPad. Oh, my gosh. Don't eat the iPad, Julian. He loves the silicone case. It's not licorice. He thinks it's licorice. I'm not kidding. Come over here. He's been having a problem with his dandruff, so I've been brushing him a lot. Oh, yeah. And, and when you give him, him the bath, of, maybe what, give baby? him that. Don't they have a shampoo for that, for cats? I think they do. I wish you did. What you said? She gave me um special shampoo and special spray for him. Mm -hmm. So I used the spray today. I mean, it's a little better, but he oh, needs a bath. Well, this is cooking. I'm going to go ahead and heat my refried beans on medium to low heat. Oh, you're going to be shy now, Jules. We'll start off with about a four on my stove. I like what Florida Gray Lady said. Same here, Gordon. If hubby awakes, I have to fix something. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay. And we're going to start the Mexican rice. I'm going to do the rice today in the uh, in the microwave. I love the Mexican rice. It's so good. 
Oh, it is. Yeah. I use the one in like the, I forget what brand it is. It's like in a yellow packet. Oh, Zatarai, maybe? Or maybe I not. Maybe. Zatarans, I think it's called. Yeah. I'm not sure. Come on back. Zatarans that that is red and white. Oh, is okay. it? Oh, boy. He's an expert. Wait, what's <laughs> the name of it? Now I want to go look in my cabinet and see which one I use. Well, I, I like jambalaya. Now I want to look. Oh, that's good, too. I haven't done a taco night in a while. Now you get me in the mood to do it. Yeah, me too. Hi, Barbosa. Oh. oh, here it is. Now I, I got to look because now I'm curious. Oh, it's cool. This is it. I got to cook some rice. By the way, I found my Mod Podge spray, which is ridiculous. I don't know why it's in there. This is the one I use. Vigo. What is it? Hold on. Vigo saffron yellow rice. Yeah. Probably the same thing. Hey, you now you can people? show them what you get. I spotlighted you with Gordon. Oh, okay. I don't know that one. I don't think we've ever had that. Have we, honey? Thanks, Rosemary. What's that, honey? That rice that she's holding up. What brand is it? It's called Vigo. Really? Hi, kindness cake. Oh, okay. I don't think it's I ever tried It's the same that. thing. Oh, Nunu's interested too. Come here. Say hello, Nunu. Hi, Barbara. Hello, everyone. Hi, yeah, Rosemary. this one. Hi, kindness makes cake. Makes a gigantic portion. Hi, Rosemary. Everybody together, but it's probably the same exact thing. Hello, Nunu. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We did brushy. Hi, Nunu. We did brushy brush, right? He's a good boy. Aww. We'll do bathy soon. When the sun comes out, we'll do it. They get so cold. I have to do it on a sunny day. They could go in the sun. So did they get a bath today? No, because it's so bad out. Mm -hmm. oh, it is. They get so cold mm -hmm. that I feel so sorry for them when, you know, when they get the bath and they don't have that, like the sun spots to go in. Because that's yeah. how they dry. They go, they find the sunniest spot and they dry pretty good like that. I help so you do it on a blanket. day that's not what they need their own electric blanket. They do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Julie, you want yes, kind of cake. My covers. Yes, kind of cake. That's me from years ago. <laughs> yeah, I like the caps. That. Hi, I Barb know. Olson. <laughs> it's so nice to see everyone. Hi, help me, Rhonda. Hello, help me, Rhonda. What are you doing over there? What you doing? You're not eating my... Stop eating. He eats my paintbrushes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I shouldn't have left my supplies out. But you know what? Yeah. I don't like to keep putting everything away because before you know it, it'll be 4 a.m. I'll be sitting here doing my stuff. Hi, Beatrice. But he eats my brushes. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to yeah. have to give them a snack when you come on to distract them. Mm -hmm. I just gave them a bazillion treats, Lisa. Oh, well, there. So don't you give me Auntie waited. Lisa You should have waited. <laughs> don't give me Auntie Lisa H. guilt with my, uh -huh. with my guys. She's always doing that, making me get guilty. Then mm -hmm. I have to give them treats. <laughs> then like 10 I minutes be... later, she's like, oh, they need a snack. Yeah. yeah. I They're hungry. Cordero. Glad to see you. No, I'm only kidding. Every animal needs an Auntie Lisa. <laughs> they love Lisa. They know her voice and everything. And I yes, think they did kind of say this time to get to know your voice too, Nana Patty, when you go here, kitty, 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 kitty. I think they because they perk up like that. Yeah. They definitely know your voice. Yeah. Yeah. They kindness do. cake. I remember you very well. I'm Do you think Willie's you. starting to get to know my voice, Nana Patty, or no? Yeah, I do. I think he is, right? Your name, name kindness. He looks towards the computer. I hope so. I like to think I'm helping him out a little bit, make some good choices. Mm -hmm. Did you pronounce your name, Tobert? You're, Hello. You're, you're a positive influence. I hope so. Hi, Tobert Flanders. Hi, Tobert. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. Thank dog. you, sweetheart. 
Hi, dog. Julie, do you, you guys have to see what he's doing with my brushes, look. He loves the brushes. He stopped doing it. He's like licking my brushes. Oh my goodness. I know. Julesy, what you doing with, with mommy's, I'm just gonna say grandma. What are you doing with mommy's brushes? <laughs> Guys, I'm going through a little bit of bunny withdrawal. Oh, I know. I, I have Elisa to tell Gina, I need cake. FaceTime. Kindness Cake just said that she agreed. She said, I am anti mommy to my daughter's cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody's got to spoil him. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Nice to see you, Doug. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Did I say hello, Beatrice? I didn't. Hello, Beatrice Cordero. Lovely to see you. Thanks for popping in. I yeah. hate when I miss somebody. Hi, Wendy. Do you want to see these cool brushes I got today, guys? Sure. I, I didn't really need brushes. My favorite brushes are the Mod Podge brushes, the brand. They have a brand called they Mod They have Podge? a brand of their own brushes, and I like wow. them a lot. Okay? But I saw these today in the drugstore, and I bought them for myself. I'll show you these. Because I, I go through brushes very fast. They don't last. You know, they, they just don't. Mm -mm. So I'm in the drugstore. And I saw these. And I just bought them like a couple of hours ago. They weren't a lot of money. And I'm usually not like the fairy princess type person. But they were really cute. So I just grabbed them. And Julian's chewing on them. I know, I know, it's true. All right, so here they are. You ready? Look at how cute they are. Aw, yeah, that's they're like kindness. They're we like do have a great place pink here. On the tips, and they have like, they look like almost like unicorn horns on the ends. But oh, cool. it's so funny because I've been looking at brushes a lot, and I like to get these with the, the edge, the, either the um, square edge, or these with the tips. And they actually were pretty good. Like $10 for five. No, wait, I think there was six. Can't find the other one. Nana, so does I Gordon put any fun. chicken base in his beans? Sorry, Lisa. That's all right. We are supposed to be talking about cooking, not about art. Sorry. Hi, Aurora. Hope you're oh, doing Aurora's okay. Aurora's here. Hi, sweetie. So yeah, that's my, my brush story. Oh, this Hi, is Aurora. one of the... This is one of the Mod Podge brushes. One of the best brushes for decoupaging. Let me see, hold on. I gotta look at it. Hey, Gordon, lots of people really? are saying hi to you. What kind is that? Is that rubber or silicone? No, it's, it's a regular brush, but for some reason, it really lays on the Mod Podge nicely. It's got oh, yeah. just a, a quality to it, the Mod Podge brushes. If you know- Send me a link or if you okay. give them the name. Okay. And then they Thank make the, they make the smaller ones that are finer. Mm -hmm. And they're all pretty good, but I really, here's the bigger one. I wear them yeah. out. I just like the quality. Yeah, I don't, I've not I, seen one like that. I always go back to these. Mm -hmm. The decoupaging. Sorry, Doug Gordon. said he's hungry, Gordon. <laughs> oh, Gordon's cooking. I was going to... Gordon, a lot of people are saying hello to you. Hello, how's everybody doing? I got Thank my you, my hamburger meat is brown, so I'm getting ready to start with the seasoning and stuff. Well, one thing I one thing I meant to tell y'all back when we were talking about the uh, Mexican rice, it's kind of a funny story. One time we had everybody over, all the kids and grandkids, everybody else over. And I made Mexican rice out of rice cauliflower. And they ate that stuff like it was great. And they don't ever even knew it was cauliflower until I told them. They yeah. didn't even know? Uh, no. Hi, Deborah. Wow. They wow. thought it was rice. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. 
Of course, after I do that a time or two, everybody gets suspicious. Nobody eats anything anymore. <laughs> Hi, Deborah Schroeder. Um, Gordon just finished browning the meat. He's got the rice in the microwave. My family loves when we do tacos. And the beans on the stove. And now he's going to Yeah, the beans are, beans are heating and I'm cutting up onions and I'm going to get ready to cut the tomato. And now he's going to season the beef. Oh, yum. And you just used a kit, right, honey? What's that? You used a kit? Yeah, I did today. Sometimes I don't, but I did today because it's because it's got the soft and the uh, okay. Go. It's got the soft and the crunchy. Okay. Usually, if I'm going to make them, otherwise, I just get crunchy tortilla shells. Mm -hmm. I Thank do the same thing. Work. Sometimes I get the kit too. Sometimes it, yes. it's really a good thing to get everything together. Right. Yeah, it is. A, yeah, because that yeah. way. You know, that way you don't get it home and go, oh, crap, I forgot the taco cheese. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got I'm having oh. authentic Filipino chicken adobo and white rice for dinner tonight. Cool, well, Doug. Good. Yeah. Doug Gordon made adobo one night, didn't you, dear? Yeah, I make adobo a lot. <laughs> no, didn't you make it? Have you made it on the cooking show? I'm sorry. Have you made it on a Monday night? Uh, if I did, it was real early on. I don't yeah. remember. Lovely to see you, Aurora, as always. Thank you, yes, sweetheart, Aurora. for coming. Hi, Barb Olson. You'll have to look through your videos, honey, and see if there's an adobo. We can always make a double the next time. Yeah. I don't think you made it. I would love to see how to make it, though. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you made never made anything it. like that. I think you made ponce it and not adobo. No, I made ponce it because I'm not good at it. Oh, okay. Somehow I find that hard to believe. If I was <laughs> going to make ponce, I'd have to have one of the girls here. Yeah. Our daughters both make it for big for holidays and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's. Uh, it's like labor it. intensive. Is it? Is it labor uh, intensive, honey? It's what? Yeah, it's it's got a whole lot of prep work. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah there's two kinds of two kinds of noodles, uh, julienne carrots, julienne onions. I don't know what else they put in there. Chicken shredded up. I don't I'll tell think you another that kind of cake. I've not heard of Schwartz. Is that sort of like? Like paella? Uh, but yeah, maybe sort, except there's no rice in it. I think paella uh -huh. is mainly rice. But One thing y'all might like, it's really, really easy to do. It's a Filipino recipe. It's called sinigang. And you have to go, uh -huh. to, an Asian, have to, go to an Asian store and get tamarind seed seasoning to make this oh, stuff wow. My one daughter uses uh, oxtail, cut up oxtail. Mm -hmm. I always, I always use ribs, like ribs on the bone. Mm -hmm. Basically, just you put it in there, and let it cook, boils till it's tender, and then it, you know, at the last, last bit of it, you take fresh spinach and throw it in there, so it wilts into it. And you already have onions in it, and you serve it with rice over rice. So it, it's a really easy recipe. Sounds really good. It does. I love to try new things. I do too. I get in a rut sometimes and just have Me what too. I'm used to. You and know? I feel like I just lock into like the same things over and over again. Absolutely. And then yeah, I and complain then that I'm bored. Yeah. Right? And then I'm like, right. well, you're doing it to yourself. You right? I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Like tonight, I know. I, I just went to um, Uncle Giuseppe's and got Gary on um, Marsala, chicken Marsala, because I was like, well, you know what it is? I, I got, I went out late in the day and came home late. The time change kind of messed with me. And then yeah. I sort of lost that like golden hour of cooking, you know? And then I was like, I'm just going to get, and I needed some stuff from the supermarket. It was the last couple of days it was, wasn't able to get, some stuff done that I wanted to get done. So I was like a little behind. So I was like, well, 
I'll just do that. But then I kind of feel like a loser when I do that. I'm like, oh, you know, I mean, he likes it, but you know, yeah, I like to home cook more, you know. Kindness cake. I don't know if we have Schwartz here in the U.S. I have never heard of that here, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist because a lot of stores are geographical. Schwartz? Doug asked a question, Nana Patty, about wars. He said, I was going to paint a few more keychains for you. Do people want keychains or lures? I answered him. You did? Yeah, I wrote it in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you wrote it. I'm glad you wrote it and I wasn't losing it that you said it and I <laughs> yeah. didn't hear it. Hi, E.F. Martin. I'm, I'm a little relieved. I, I said that they love the keychains, but I bet they would love the lures too. Very interesting. I'd fish with one of those. Hi, E.F. Hutton Grayson. Hey, E.F. Hutton Grayson. Thanks for popping in. Huh? I was just saying thank you to E.F. Hutton. Grayson. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. It feels so nice to see everyone. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. When, you, when do you, are you going to start your cobbler? Oh, in just a second. It's, it's easy, too. Mm-hmm. What did you just put in that in the glass thing, Gordon? I'm sorry? What'd you put in that? What did you put in the casserole dish? Oh, that's the rice. The rice. Okay. Okay. I couldn't. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, yeah. that looks yummy. You're getting me so hungry. My ground beef is done. Mm-hmm. Looks so good. The beans are done. I should have just, clear. if I wasn't no, like so, I would have cooked with you tonight, the, uh, but I just wasn't. Well, start on the cobbler, so I got to turn my oven on. Okay. What are you setting it on? 350. Okay. Hi, Deborah Schroeder. We used to make paella outside at least once a week when we were stationed in Hawaii. Wow. I like oh, paella. Oh, that's so neat, Doug. That, doesn't paella have shrimp in it? I believe it does. Yeah. I, I'd probably eat it. I'm not sure Dan Patty would. <laughs> but you could leave it out if you don't like it. When you make it yourself, you make it. you make what you like. Oh, there's my little buddy. There's Willie. He's my guy. Oh, Willie. Willie. Doug, I like the chicken better, too. Willie is just so misunderstood. He is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I knew Nana mm-hmm. Patty was going to say that. Oh, yeah. I knew she did like something. <laughs> She's so funny. I knew she was going to say that. Hi, Willie. Willie. He's my boy. He's my boy. Look at that baby. He's my little soulmate. Willie, come here. Come here, buddy. They do make pork adobo, too, but you like the chicken. Yeah. My best friend is married to a Filipina and her mother was an excellent cook. She loved me so much and would always spoil me when I would come to visit. She gave me her recipe of her chicken adobo. Oh, I love homemade recipes. They, they're so much better when it comes from somebody's art, you know? So much better. Is Willie a terrier, Nana? Yeah, he's a yeah. schnauzer mix. Oh, okay. I love your kitchen. Yeah, it's beautiful. I remember when she got it done. It's gorgeous. Love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, You get a glass baking Mm -hmm. dish, 13 by nine. Spray it with, uh, you have to grease it or spray it. It's so nasty out here, but not snowing rain, but you, you're getting snow, Lisa, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know how much, though. It's kind of up in the air because we, we might be in a downslope where okay. we don't, I hope we don't so. usually get as much. Some mm-hmm. are getting like almost three feet of snow. Mm-hmm. So, Holy yeah, it's pretty bad, I think. We're getting rain, like we have a slushy rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had that today. Yeah. 
We have a whole bunch of tre- we have a whole bunch of trees here that are budding out. I hope we don't get any more ice. Oh, oh I hope wow. not. I hope not. Yeah, my flowers, like, you know, the daffodils and stuff started popping up, and it was like, I think you better go back down. <laughs> Aurora, how are you doing? Give us a little update. Use Aurora, a whole that's stick, nice, honey. Use a whole stick of butter in this cobbler. Okay, so you're cutting up the butter right now, I see that. Yeah, so it'll melt faster. I really want to see how you make this. Maybe I'll make it this coming weekend when I have the fam. You know, the funny, the funny thing is, if you look on the in, on Bisquick's website or sometimes on their box, there's also a recipe that's pretty much like this for making chicken pot pie. Oh yeah, oh, really? There is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The big thing with these Bisquick recipes is you make like a. You make like a, either a batter or like the chicken pot pie. You make the vegetables and the cream of chicken soup. And then you pour the batter kind of in on top of it. Just let it sit that you don't stir it together. And okay. then as, you cook, as you cook, it rises up through the, uh, yeah. through the filling and everything. Wow. That That's sounds awesome. good. It does. You're getting, a, you're getting me in to make all this stuff now. I know. I know. I got this cobbler recipe from my mom. <laughs> she called it 350 degree Bisquick pie. Aww. Hmm. But on the back of the Bisquick box that I've got in here, it's got it on. It's got the recipe on there. Oh, um, neat. Yeah. Really? Oh, Willie, come on. Let me get the bite. Oh, Willie, no. Come on, Willie. Now he's going to be quiet. Be a good boy, Willie. You're doing better. Legs still weak, and I stay up a bit longer. Okay, maybe a little like baby steps. You know, I'm thinking about you a lot. The, the, the biscuit pie. I your prayers for you, Aurora. I think if mm-hmm. you do, hoping you're doing better. The biscuit pie. Is in my handwriting from my mom. I just wanted to show you all. Let me see. Let me see. I, 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 I keep a lot of uh, recipes that are in my mom's handwriting. I love that. Aw. And, and today is the tenth anniversary when she went to heaven. Aww. Oh my goodness! I'm con- I'm glad you're making the peach cobbler then. Yeah. That's good, honey. She, That's she really made one- neat, dog. About your the day lilies. They're beautiful. She made one one time. It's called. You've probably, you've probably heard of it. It's, probably, it's called dirt cake. Oh, and I've you, heard of that. And you use Oreos, you crush them up, yes. and them like powder, and she serves it in a flower pot, like it's like, like it's got like it looks like it's dirt planting soil. Oh wow! I've Who does that? Seen, it's called dirt cake. Who also, does that? I'm sorry. Who does that? Who? My mom used to. Oh, oh how wow. cute! There's also one you can do that's pretty funny, but it's mainly for guys, I think, because I don't know if women would think it's funny. You can do the same type of thing and make use a litter box, like kitty litter, and you put Tootsie Rolls in there. Oh, oh that's and, funny. And, and you serve it with like a, a pooper scooper for a... Oh, my oh, goodness. The, the kids would love that. Kids yeah. would love to... Yeah. You know, toilet humor is the best. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, I put the I put the up or the butter in the oven. I just gotta wait for it to okay. melt, start sizzling. While I'm while it's doing that, I'm gonna be mixing up the uh, the batter. Okay. Doug says that Grandma's day lilies are sprouting up. She planted them in the early 70s, and I got bulbs from their old property Aww. from the, the now homeowner in 2020. That's so neat. Oh, so that's sweet, beautiful. Huh? I that's love neat, that. Doug. I do, too. This is one and a quarter cups of Bisquick.
gosh, I have all this. I might have to make it. The peach cobbler. It's getting me in the, I tell what? you, it just makes you get in the mood to cook. It does. You know? I wish it was a little earlier for me. I would have just made the same meal. Mm -hmm. But what it's if, a little hard. One cup of, one cup of sugar or sugar or a sweetener. Look at everything for party. We use Splenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gary and I lately we're doing like the sugar free diet right now. We're trying to mm -hmm. get back to basics here. So that's good to know that you could substitute it. Mm -hmm. Yep. We use Splenda. I use good old sugar. <laughs> that's okay. We yeah. Have every, boat. every once in a while, I use that Splenda baking blend if it's mixed with sugar. That's hey, pretty good. Hey, Dave. Too. That's Indeed. that's not a bad idea that, that, to do that because then it's sort of like, you know, a little yeah. more moderate. I can I'm that. trying to get a little serious because I've put on lots of weight from um, some stuff that's going on and I want to try to, you know. Hey, Dave. How the did Florida you know I was lady? just thinking about you, Dave? I, I got the picture. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Florida. Oh, that's good, Nana. Yeah, Thank you, Florida. I put a screen around my planter boxes to keep the deer from eating them. The deer can eat anything they want on my property, but not my grandma's <laughs> day lilies. Doug. Yeah, there's a limit. So the butter is melting right now. I'm going to check it here in just a second. I just want to keep track. I don't want to miss this. <laughs> it's still doing it. It's not quite all done yet you just put milk in that butter you have you have three quarters of a cup of milk three quarters the splenda it, it goes in with the uh sugar okay the, gotcha have you already added the bisquick yeah i did that first okay and how much of that did I you didn't use? see hi denise Sorry to interrupt, Nana Patty. Oh, it's okay. How much of the biscuit did you use, Gordon? Honey. What? How, How much, much of the biscuit did you How use? How much biscuit? Yeah. Biscuit is uh, one and a quarter cups. Sugar is one cup. Milk is three fourths of a cup. Okay. If this is what I I'm using. This is what I'm using today. It's a peach peach pie filling. I tried, oh, a, I tried, cher I tried cherry last week for the first time, and it was pretty good. I never had used yeah. cherry. Hey, Looks Tracy. good. That and looks so yum. Mm -hmm. That's oh, going to yeah. go right in there. Hi, Nightmare. Hey, Nightmare. And Tracy. I said hi, but I don't know if you heard me. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, hi, Tracy, in case you didn't hear me. So it's ready? Okay. I've got the... Uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Get the butter out. Basically, you just pour the, you just pour the uh, batter in. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Just right on top of the butter? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Wow. Ooh. I didn't know. I've never done oh, that. I've got to make this for the family on Sunday. I'm definitely going to make it. And I think I might even do taco night again because they miss mm -hmm. it, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think I might just copycat this whole meal. <laughs> you get me in the mood. You get me in the mood to make it. Totally. Is wow. this quick yeah. pre-mix? Yeah. Oh, there's a question. Help me, Rhonda said, is Bisquick a pre-mixed pastry flour? I don't know if I know that. Uh. I don't know if it's a pastry flour. I, you, you, you can make cupcakes, or not cupcakes, waffles, pancakes, lots of biscuits. I don't know if it's a, a pastry flour or not, but I don't, I don't cook much pastry. <laughs> I don't know what it, it has some other ingredients in it though, like baking powder probably, baking so, soda, maybe. Okay. I don't know what's in it. The next yeah, thing Tracy, is you take, peach cobbler. You take the peach filling and you just kind of spoon it on top. This is unbelievable. I, I, I really have never done anything like that before. Mm -mm. See, now this is very, very bad because this is this would be a tough thing for an overthinker like me. Because mm -hmm. there's yep. no boundaries, okay? 
Oh gosh, that looks so good. You know what I mean, Miss H? Yes, There's no boundary. That's hard, hard for me. I'm just, I don't know. Does anybody get that? You mean the recipe? It's like it's you just like you just okay. The butter, the biscuit mixture, and then the fruit, and then you're just putting it in the oven. That's yeah. I'd be kind of nervous. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just wait. Now we just wait for an hour. I'm used to measuring everything and all that good stuff and yeah. being very kind of precise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have to Deborah, be, bro. That would be good with, vi- yeah, with vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, my gosh, yes. Do we have vanilla ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> we do not. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, right? You guys, you get it, right? Get There's, like, no boundary there. Like, it makes me nervous. Do you want me to run and get some? Mm-hmm. Well, before oh, you do that, can you show them the, the biscuit Sorry? package? What? Show them the biscuit package. Oh, I will. Okay. He's so cute. He wants to go get the vanilla ice cream. I can't even. Mm-hmm. I, I just can't. Mm-hmm. I can't. There you go. That's biscuit. They also, they also make a gluten-free biscuit, too. Are you wow. kidding? No. Wow. <laughs> I've wow. used it before. I've used it before. It works fine too. Wow, that's really good to know. I, he's gonna go get the vanilla ice cream. I can't. Mm. You don't mm. have, have to go to the store, yeah. honey. But if you want to, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to, but I can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you guys be, are I'm, bad. Cut out. I'll be, leave, I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving. I know Clarissa, but they did, they're making it the sugar-free variety. So that helps a little, right? Mm -hmm. Are you you ready to eat yet? Yes. Gary's going to like this. Mm -hmm. You want yours crunchy, right? Yes. Okay. Go get the vanilla ice cream. I can't. Well, Clarissa, at least it's, it's made with Splenda. Yeah. Oh, I love mm-hmm. refried beans. Honey, yeah, you love about refried to fall beans. Off. There we go. You make you use biscuit biscuit for your sausage balls? Like sausage as the binder? Uh, you could, I wow. think. Wow. See, this is how you learn a lot about re- you know about different recipes. Mm-hmm. You get people together and you fig- you find out what they do. It's so interesting. It is. I kind of thought thought that was funny that somebody asked to see the Bisquick box because like Bisquick is like everybody uses Bisquick in Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know yeah. overseas it's very if they popular have it. Here Do also. they have it? I wonder if they have it in the UK and overseas. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I saw? It, this is totally off the topic that I saw in Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. Um, Mermite. Mermite. Oh, really? They had it. Which is wow. like super popular in the UK. Uh-huh. They love right. it. Well, many people love it. I'm, I don't know if everybody loves it, but a lot mm-hmm. of people love it. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Deborah Schroeder is so funny. <laughs> Sweet husband. My ex was a doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Indiana too, Florida? Yeah, we, Bisquick is very popular here. Everybody mm-hmm. knows what Bisquick is. Oh, Gordon. Oh, boy. Sausage, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and Bisquick. Tracy, you're killing me. Oh, wow. And Doug said, I use Cheez-Its crushed up in my meatloaf. Wow. Wow. I love pure sugar, too, kindness cake. It is true kindness cake. It's difficult. Like, it's not the same. Yeah. The sweeteners or whatever sometimes make my tummy hurt. So I usually just go with the pure stuff and then I don't have to worry so much. I just eat less of it, you know? And if I have my family over, I don't ever use sugar substitutes. If I cook Mm -mm. for them, I I use the, you know, the regular stuff. Honey? Yeah. You know. Do you want, uh, do you want paste or do you want taco sauce? Lisa D. Mermite is delicious, but an acquired taste. It is very strong. I've heard Mm -hmm. that when you put it on the bread, 
you put butter, I think, first, and then put the mermite on it, but just a little bit. Is it like a beefy, bouillon-y flavor? I think it sauce. is. And um, when you get ready to leave, can you turn the volume down and mute it in there? Florida Gray Lady, I use salsa in my meatloaf. Yeah, wow, I've never had that Why not? either. Wow. Why not? That sounds actually like a great idea. Oh, yum, Davida. Oh, here's That's a good question. That's what I wondered, Deborah, if it was like Vegemite. Yeah, is it like Vegemite? Hi, Heads Up. Heads Up 7 Up. Hey, Heads Up 7 Up. Is Marmite like Vegemite? We need the answer to that. Oh, no, we got to have it's pure like butter. It's like butter kinda. alternatives. <laughs> Never as good as pure butter. Yum. Okay. But I always thought people sure. put butter first and then put the mermite on top, marmite on top of it. But I'm not positive. We had oh my God, Tracy. Dinner. You're all making me hungry. Oh, I had my I own. Oh gosh, my my gosh Gordon. Sub, and you're making you're me hungry. You're killing me. Again. I know. Can you all see it? He does it all the yeah. time. Yeah. He does it all the time. Mm hmm. Yes, it's a good thing Gary's not seeing. Up. He would be thinking the uh, the chicken mar salad doesn't measure up. Absolutely fabulous. Them? What, Nana Patty? I was asking Gordon if he spilled something. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm sure that the little pups will take care of that. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You know what I like? I like peach salsa. Like I like the sweet salsas. As soon as I turned the corner, come in here. This one fell over. Butter sideways. and then a oh. little marmite. Yeah, take Benton a picture. Mite is also very tasty. Both are yeast based. No way. Mm. I mm. had no idea there was a yeast product in them. <laughs> I know, Aurora, right? Don't you wish you could just eat that right now, Aurora? No. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't even eat dinner because I had a very late lunch. And I can't. I can't eat too close to that time. Right. How long does it take to cook that? Hour. Okay. So the cobbler has to be in there for an hour. Gordon. Yes. What is your favorite thing to cook? Do you have a favorite? Uh. Anything Italian, but I like making spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to cook no, my uh, Sunday I, sauce. I, spaghetti. Too. I like spaghetti. It's a funny thing. That's the very first thing I learned how to cook when I was a grown man. Mm -hmm. And I was oh. on the phone with my mom the whole time I was making it. Oh, <laughs> good memories, right? Good yeah. memories. Yeah. That was one of the first things. I remember my first time I had Thanksgiving alone, I cooked the neck and the giblets inside the turkey. Oh, no, I've done that. <laughs> that's yeah, not an here. uncommon thing to do. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's I didn't really even know common. they were in there. Yeah, yeah. Then Poor I was dog, getting ready to yeah. hungry. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I know it, it was. My, my ex-wife was, was Filipino, so I know a lot of Filipino dishes. So mm -hmm. there's one that's really good. That's, uh, we have to make it sometime, probably. Use really thin cut steak. They call it bistec Filipino, and it's basically like real thin cut steak, sautéed with uh, onions, garlic, and soy sauce, till it reduces down to like the soy sauce. Or it's, it's really it gets like thick, mm -hmm. and you serve it over rice. It's really good. Sounds it's good. It, it's a little bit like Nana Patty when she makes her. Uh, or smothered steak, you have to sit there and keep stirring it the whole time mm -hmm. while you're mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't make it a lot because I haven't got a lot of patience. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get the ice cream now because I decided it'd probably be safer. Okay. So I'll be I'm okay. Go all right, we'll hold down the for you. We'll hold it down, all right? Yeah, be safe. I had minced garlic okay. and mushrooms if I have them. I love I love mushrooms. We'll hold down the fort. Don't worry. 
What did Tracy say? Let's see. Alrighty. Chicken with a packet of ranch, a packet of au jus gravy, a packet of Lipton onion soup, a can of cream of chicken, a stick of butter with whole pepper pepperoncinis in the crock pot. Yeah, I just took wow. that recipe down. <laughs> I love the crock pot. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. a gigantic, gigantic crock pot. Really? Because yeah, it's because. Well, heck, if you're going to make something. Mm -hmm. Now we're making it taco stuff tomorrow. That's I have, I'll make it for everyone, you know? Mm -hmm. I am hungry. My dinner is in the slow cooker and the smell is killing me. And watching Gordon cook is way too much. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's good stuff. It's a lot of fun. It's very good. The dinner turned out good. Oh, I bet. Sure mm -hmm. looked good. I'm not turning my camera on, guys, because I'm still in a neck brace. So I look bad. Lisa D. Yes, Tanya's cake, cake asked you a question about. Okay, I just got Julian a text from, from my mom. And Nunu, and Nunu, they're with you. Let's see, what did she say? Are Julian hmm. and Nunu there with you? No, they the went upstairs in the mouse. I think they went in the mouse house. Mouse houses. Oh. Yeah. Or, the, or they went up with Gary. They've been very cuddly. Yeah. Yeah, they've been real cuddly today. A little needy. Yeah. Which is okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. They would they're just sweet as sugar, you know. But I think they're in the mouse houses, you know. That's their world right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's their universe. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Especially you know, with the heat on, the heat is right up against the back of them, and yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, you can't deny it. No, no. Thank you, heads up, seven up, and hi, pussy cat. And Davina's not up here to sing to you. I'm starting to get hungry now watching Gordon cook. I didn't want to eat What's so close, new, pussy cat. <laughs> the bedtime, but I'm getting hungry. See, yeah, I we're going to get some snow, too, in New York, pussycat. The island is pretty warm, so I, I think we'll just stick to, they say, a little bit of slushy snow in the morning, but not a lot. Yeah. But, you know, it's still annoying, but we're very fortunate, so I, I'm not going to complain. Yep, the beat is pretty great. Oh, did I sing the wrong song? Help me, Rhonda I said, Nana Patty, can you add my sister to your prayer list? She's been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Oh, oh my goodness. For her, help me, Rhonda. I'm so sorry. Oh, you bet we can. Absolutely. What's her name? Help me, Rhonda. Ladybug What's Toes. Hi, Ladybug Toes. Sorry to interrupt. Ooh. What's her name? Hi, Lady Bug Joes. People have so much. Mm -hmm. Hurts my heart. My cousin is going through breast cancer. And I, I, it's so hard. And like it they is. don't live so close to me and it's killing me. I mean, they're only, you know, two and a half hours away, but. I keep telling them I want to come there and help them out. Maybe they'll take me up on it. Her name is Suzanne. I'm going to add her right now. Suzanne. Suzanne, yeah. All well, you need to keep your cold up there. What is it? Florida said you all need to keep your cold up there. 40s tomorrow night. Sorry, Florida. 
Please add Nana Patty to the prayer list. She needs prayers too. Yeah, dog. Me? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. This has been a tough road for you. Yeah. It has been. Very. I just Major now feel League. like I just now feel like I'm waking up from the anesthesia. I, I know I noticed that that you seem to be turning the corner right now. Mm -hmm. I see that improvement. But it's been a long haul for you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Help me, Rhonda. We're always here for you. And what's your What's your cousin's name that's going through the breast cancer? Doreen. And her husband's going through some heart issues at the same time. What's his name? John. And I just adore them. You know, thanks, Lisa H. Suzanne, we're here for you. Modern medicine can do a lot, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Davida, hi, Trace. I love you, Davida. <laughs> Dave, were you impressed by my imp were you impressed that I was impressed with the Mackenzie Phillips teapot that I showed you? Oh, dog, prayers for you. I so oh, get that. I know, I dog. It's terrible. We have it. Arthritis I think Lisa does, and I have it bad. It's terrible. Yeah. Let me get done on the list. Yeah. That's right, Pussycat. Better days are coming. Almost spring here, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's Davida tough, brings dog. Mine are in my feet and hands. Yeah, it's hard. Davida does bring smiles. She does. I pussycat the teapot is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It made the whole kitchen pop. Because her kitchen is black and white. Mm -hmm. And she got the black and white teapot. And it just, you know what I saw too, Dave? Her daughter was showing me the same teapot in blue, in the blue variety. And what a cool look. And it's totally different. It's blue, like it's got the checker checkers on it and then instead of like the finial that's red like the black and white one has it has a, like a, a big like it almost looks like a big diamond on top and I love that they make a variety like it's not exactly the same so for somebody who has the blue very cool mm -hmm. really neat yeah hi lady die yes I'm feeling better thank you Doug you really want to move to a warmer climate you want to just like ditch RA for me used to be a runner. Me too, Deborah. Oh, you used to be a... really? Nana Patty? Yeah. I did I not know to... that. I used to run about three miles a day. Oh, wow. What else and, do, uh, do I not know about you? Well, I yes, also work out at the are, gym. Pussy, caught, pussy cat, we are family. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I, I would love to be able to do that, but I can't. Mm -mm. Walking is as good as it gets. I have to yeah, recognize my Walking. limitations. I have to recognize that. Mm -hmm. oh, I missed you, Ladybug. missed you, too. I missed you, too, Ladybug. Just so everybody knows. I, everyone knows here that Carol Boyce has cancer, right? And I just want to let everybody know that she's really in need of prayer. She's not doing good. And um, yeah. we have really to needs a, she needs lots and lots of prayers. Yeah. Please do that, everyone. Please. She's my soul sister. And it just kills me. Please 
please do that, everyone? Yes, please. We love her so much. Time to eat yet. You can eat in a minute when Daddy gets back. Taz is down here begging for food. He's a crazy <laughs> Are you going to eat all that, Mom? I really could use it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, everyone. Carol Boyce probably is not well enough to come into no, the show. No, she is not at all. No. Mm -mm. But if she was, she'd be here. She would mm -hmm. be. Maybe she is listening. Yeah, I don't no, know. No. She could we be love listening. You, Carol, so much. But she she wouldn't be able to be, I don't think, typing in. But you no. never know. If she could she could be listening. You never know. Yeah. We love you, Carol. Yep. We sure do. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Aurora. Oh, hi, Lisa S. Hi, Lisa S. Thanks for popping in. We're waiting on the peach cobbler. Yeah. That Gordon's mom used to make. Mm hmm And he did tacos, refried beans, and rice that looked fabulous. Hi, Jenny. Really? Lisa asked, she's just not doing good. She is home from the hospital. But the news isn't good, so she just needs lots of prayers. It's better to just be honest about it. Mm -hmm. We try to be honest about everything here. Yep. No, we don't. It's not, we don't try, we are. Yeah. With you hear like Taz? It, there's some icy stuff going on. Did you hear Taz whining? He's looking no, at I me didn't. and whining. Oh my God. Don't people eat die? peach cobble with hot, with ice cream? Yes, oh, Wendy, they do. guess what? Oh my goodness. Um, Mr. Nana Patty went out to get vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. Such a sweetie, Jenny Barnes. It's I'm I'm Lisa H, and there's Lisa D and Nana Patty and Gordon that are all on the panel. Yep. Maybe I'll go up and check on the cats. Lisa, I was a little worried. Julian was acting a little weird today, oh, but he no. seems okay now. He seems okay now. What was wrong with him? I don't know. He was kind of acting very clingy and oh, yeah, but he seems okay now. Maybe he just wanted a little extra loving. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. But I, I gave him, I stayed home for a while this afternoon and gave him a lot of pet pets. Oh, good. And then he was okay. Yeah. I love those kitties. Thank you, honey. They love their mouse houses. I actually went up a little bit. I took a step back and went a little bit back on the dry, up on the dry a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jenny Barnes. Not, I didn't go all the way back up on the dry food, but I went up a no. little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. I was seeing a little bit less action in the litter box. Oh, yeah, that's worrisome. And I don't want to have a problem. So I just went up a no. little bit, back up a little bit. I don't want to be graphic. Okay. <laughs> Nana. Still not a lot though, Lise. Still not a lot. Still oh, like, yeah. you know, predominantly, predominantly wet. Yeah. You would think that with all that wet food, the dandruff on Julian would be better. But she said it's not really dandruff per se. It's like a seborrhea. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. No? Yeah, Doug. 
our four-legged friends they get us hooked on them yeah that's oh, right i'm hooked I'm yeah hooked all right. we're just the person that opens the cans and all you know I'm whatever they want charged. whenever they want <laughs> hi lisa ash very thankful to be surrounded by truth and a wonderful crowd much love to you all thanks lisa oh, thank you lisa. thanks lisa S. How long have you guys known Carol Boyce? Hmm. It's a while. Four years, maybe. Three mm -hmm. or four years. At least I have. Yeah. She's lovely. She's the real deal. Mm -hmm. My cats are eight and nine years old. Oops, my mom's calling. I'm going to have to take the call. Okay. Okay. So I will have to leave and come back in, okay? Okay. I will be back. Hope everything's okay. All right, thanks. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> I owe, I owe, off to work I go. <laughs> mm hmm. Not so true, Jenny. That's how they keep us working. You have to have a place to live and groceries on the table and in the Gotta fridge. Gotta feed the pets. <laughs> mm hmm No, I, I don't, Pussycat, but maybe somebody else does. Not me. Oh, same here, Denise. But I don't know how many inches. We might not have as many as surrounding areas. I'm in New York, no. upstate. Hey, Where Justin. I haven't Where seen you, you in Denise? a phone's age. Hey, Justin. What in the world are you up to, Justin? Dog. <laughs> yeah, he is pussycat. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Oh, yum, Wendy. What's Wendy doing? They used to have a peach tree in our backyard, and we made homemade peach ice cream every summer. We made that one summer. It was so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. We've done that, too, when I was growing mm -hmm. up. And we'll pick strawberries we used to, and then we'd make the homemade strawberry ice cream, too. So good. That's neat, Nana. Main New Hampshire border, Denise. Yep, you're right up there with the the Lisa's. Yep. That's cool, Justin. Oh, do you like doing the DoorDash, Justin? My grandson does that. Oh, I get that brain freeze too, Wendy, from the ice cream. Pussycat, I think Muppets is over with uh, doing Dandy with her auctions. Dandy has her own channel now. I'm not sure what the website is, but on YouTube. Yes, Wendy, we had the hand, hand crank and the rock, salt, and ice. Yep, yep, <laughs> the old-fashioned way. Oh, yum, dog. You want to come, Justice? 
I didn't. Oh, oh cool. Remember. That's cool, Florida. Gordon just asked me if I ordered um, COVID test kits. I was like, no. He said, well, some came in your name. Oh, wow. That's pretty weird. Oh, I love popcorn and melted butter, Wendy. I had the Snoopy Snow Home Machine, I think, Pussycat, back in the 70s, I believe it was. I don't know, Doug, if she's live or not. No, I don't think so. Oh, Barb, the ice cream man. We used to do, I used to love that in the 70s growing up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. They used to bring it to your door. Yeah. With the milkman, the milkman. Well, no, the well I'm thinking of the ding dong card or whatever, you know, where they had the, it's a small world after all, or whatever they would play with ice cream, the ice cream man. That too. We used to have the ice cream truck come and, you know, oh. they'd have, You'd run out there with your money and say, Mom, Mom, I need to get some ice cream. And she'd give you like what, maybe a quarter or a dollar, something like that. And you could get your own ice cream, pick your pick. We didn't any have anything kind. like that because I grew up in the country where there was no one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was in a I was in a village, so. Uh -huh. That is true, Wendy. That's why I love to make my own stuff with real stuff, real food and real ingredients. <laughs> Pussycat, I know. I ran to it after the truck. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool, Barb. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to have all the food there, Justin, when you're going to deliver it. Yeah. Our milkman would bring our ice cream. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Sometimes I would oh, get up. <laughs> Candyman. I would get up and early, early, like on Friday morning, because that's the day that milkman would come. So I'd be waiting with mama and say, Mom. Can we get ice cream today? And uh, she always let me. Aw, how sweet. Yeah. Great memories. It would come in the, you know, like a, like you buy it at the grocery store in the pint or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. It would come like that. Oh, that's cool, Tonda. Yeah. I never knew Hostess Cupcakes delivered back in the day. And that, that's awesome, Wendy. Had a victory garden where your grandmother did where neighbors would share what they had. Love the soup, stone soup story. Oh, dog, I, I miss it too. I love summers when I was growing up. Yeah. Me too. I love summertime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a good day, Tonda. I hope yours was going okay. Oh, yeah, Wendy. Everything stayed, tasted better when we were younger. Yeah. Yeah. We were probably eating stuff that wasn't good for us, but oh, well. Yeah, but I mean, like, Nowadays, even the same things like Twinkies and stuff that used to taste so good back then. And now they just they they're doing something different, I think, with some mm -hmm. of the stuff, maybe to cut corners. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Doug, I know it's my weakness, too. Yeah, we used to make homemade iced tea. We'd put it in the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I've heard of Albertsons, Deborah. Yeah. Gordon back yet? Yeah. Oh, is he? Mm hmm. Oh, cool. What are you doing in there, Gordon? Yeah, something. Barb, I hear you. I believe that. Oh, Rice Krispie Treats are good, Wendy. Yum. There's Lisa D. She's back. Hi, Lisa D. Welcome back. Hello, friends. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi, Lisa. Oh, wow, Tonda. I don't see Gordon. That's good. What, Lisa? Wendy said Gordon's fixing us a plate of dinner. I don't see Gordon. He doesn't have his camera turned on. Oh. Why? He's making his plate. Oh. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to see how much he's getting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not really. I know. He really wouldn't care. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Hi, Tonda. Hi, Justin. Explains everything. Oh dear dog, that that's not that mm, no. <laughs> I'd rather not eat anything. <laughs> really? Sugar free jello and sugar free pudding? Ooh. I'd have to put some Splenda in it. Strawberry rhubarb pie in my kitchen as well, Barb said. I mean, oh, wow. it's one. I've never had rhubarb. I made it once. It was good. Yeah, my yeah. mom used to make it. Yeah, she used to make it. But only with strawberry. It needed like, it needed something sweet with it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because it was kind of bitter, wasn't it? As I remember. Sour. Yeah. Very sour. It needs a lot of sugar. Mm hmm Oh, dog, yeah. You stay away <laughs> from sugar, dog. You like the bachelor? <laughs> hmm? I think Wendy's watching The Bachelor. Oh. Ever since my heart attack, I stay away from sugar, Doug wrote. Mm hmm mm hmm When I give up sugar, the weight falls off of me like crazy. Me too. Oh, yeah. It melts away. Mm hmm It's just so hard to give it up. Hmm? It's so hard to give it up. I know. Mm hmm Oh, Barb, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Good memories. You got a strawberry rhubarb pie for your birthday? Florida Gray Lady? Oh, nice. Doug, you battled with weight? Me too. Hi, Nancy M. Hey, Nancy M. Hi, Nancy. I know now. I know I'm eating popcorn and you're in the mood now. I get it. I hope you're yeah, feeling okay, The no okay, sugar Nancy. pudding is pretty good. It's not that bad. I mean... When you're giving up sugar, you are sacrificing, you know, taste on some level, but it's better than not having anything. Mm 
right. <laughs> Gordon made a taco salad out of his dinner. Gary does that. I hope you're doing okay, Barb. Mm. Popcorn with Parmesan. Mm. Good idea. I've never had that popcorn with Parmesan cheese. Oh, Nancy, I'm sorry to hear that. Aww. Well, Nancy, I know you're ready to get the surgery over with. Me too, Doug. Mm, I know. Well, I'm not that. active. If I can't walk, like more walk, I gain weight right away. Oh, I'll keep you okay, in my Nancy, thoughts and I'm... prayers, Nancy. Oh, good. <laughs> Kindness it cake, is... I know I can't. I don't think I can give up sugar. It adds that. to my cravings, though. Oh, good, Barb. I'm glad you're doing better. Good. Stewed rhubarb? What do you do with it? What is, oh, my God, David. I've never had it that way. I'm going to have to try it. Hmm. Hmm. I have all that. <laughs> Stewed rhubarb. Really? Shush. Wow. Poor oh, Willie. Where's when is, is their dinner? Is their dinner ready yet? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Gordon. Forget about eating. You gotta feed your dog first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How do you make the stewed rhubarb? I'm very curious. I don't know. Pussy cat. Hi, pussy cat. <laughs> You can eat stewed rhubarb over ice cream. I get that, Doug. I get it too, Doug. I hate it. I like to walk, though, if I can. <laughs> but in moderation. Can't always do it, though. Sugar, cornstarch, cinnamon, boil it. Wow. Well, hmm. It sounds good. It does. <clears throat> I want more popcorn, but I'm not. I'm just gonna have a little more, and then I'm gonna stop. I'm eating just skinny pop out of the bag. Being lazy. I don't like the um, microwave popcorn. And you like it better homemade? Mm, oh, me too. But I'm yeah. just lazy. Well, I've never had sugar-free ice cream, Justin. Hmm. Huh. Oh, I read that as Wendy, that? as we are speaking, I am in the garbage. She said garage. Right. Not garbage. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, what is she trying Everybody to find in the garbage? <laughs> hmm? Everybody loses. Ooh. Oh, yum, Jenny. Ice cream and waffles. Oh, oh that sounds good, pussycat. Me too, Doug. I have to have pill planners because I have too many meds. Yeah, I do too. Monday through Sunday or whatever. Or Sunday it's through. It's terrible. Whatever. Yeah. Makes me crazy. Hi, Lady Di. Lady Di. I know all this food talk. Oh, I love frozen yogurt. Well, that's, that's cool, Nancy. Yeah, frozen yogurt is good.
Yeah, I haven't either, Jenny. I haven't had that in years. Rhubarb pie with the strawberries. Mm. Oh, it does, dog. But, but you know, there's only one alternative, and it beats that. Yeah, true. Yeah, E.F. Hutton said she's eating. She's so hungry. We've made her so hungry. She's eating her shrimp cocktail, partially frozen. <laughs> Are you guys listening to me crunch? No, I don't, I don't hear anything. Oh, good. I don't, didn't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> Kindness. Yeah, it's good with strawberry, Jenny, and sugar. Doug says, I hear people eating. It's me crunching <laughs> on popcorn. <It's laughs> not <fine>. eating. <laughs> what? You're good. You're good. I don't hear it. <laughs> That's all right, pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's so cute. Well, you know, this is a, is a cooking show. So when you got a cooking show, you have to have people eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny Bourne, you're so cute. <laughs> and I'm ready for that cobbler to get ready. I know. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. That's, I bet that's going to be good. Is killing me. Mm hmm. Yeah. And all I've got is a few rocks. <laughs> yeah, Danny. You you like eating sounds, Doug? You guys are so nice. Yeah, stone soup, Nancy. That's what I have. I'm I've resorted to that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kidding. Cream brulee sounds good. Yes, it does, kindness. Oh goodness. Excuse me, I kept trying to fall asleep all afternoon and I couldn't fall asleep. You didn't? And then, no, I couldn't fall asleep. Pussy cat. You know, now that you mention it, what I did was um I tried to sleep too. When mm -hmm. you did, and I couldn't yeah. I couldn't either. Okay, Jenny Barnes, it was good to see you. And I was tired. Love you, but take I care. Uh -huh. Sorry, Lisa. No worries. Bye, Jenny. <clears throat> What's a mukbang? I was just going to say that. Hi, April Sunset. Hi, April. Hello, April. Thanks for coming. You've never tried peach, tried peach cobbler? You, you still got your camera on in there. Okay. You can show them in there. Okay. Peach cobbler's done. He's going to show y'all in just a minute. I can't wait. Hey, oh, I smell the popcorn. Oh. Let me get you highlighted. All right, wait, I got to wait. I'm coming over there. Over there. Oh. 
I don't want to miss the unveiling. Okay. Okay, I, show, I, I listen to those, Justin. The ASMR I am videos. so excited about this. Oh look. my god. Does that not look awesome? That is fantastic. Oh, that looks great. Mm -hmm. Wow. I need a picture of that, honey. Okay. Hang on. I'm of course, totally making that. Of course, we can always take a picture of a, of a piece of cobbler with ice cream on it. Can't see him. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm going to have some warm cobbler and ice cream. There's Willie. Oh my God. Here comes my piece. Oh my God. Doesn't that look good? Mm hmm. Fabulous. Mm hmm. Okay, Doug. You can move next door. <laughs> Tracy wants a corner piece. Yeah, That's we what used I would to fight. For. Yes, Tracy. When we were growing up at my grandparents, we used to fight. All the cousins and I would fight for the corner piece. <laughs> That's funny. Nancy <laughs> M is like, Gordon, stop it. You have to show them the ice cream there. on it. Look at Taz. Mm -hmm. He's like, drop some data, dare you. That <laughs> has ice cream Patty's on it. Like, uh, I can't wait to see with the ice cream on it. In tint. Can you show them with the ice cream on it? <laughs> oh, you didn't show them with the ice cream on it. Huh? You didn't show it with the ice cream on it. Couldn't find my phone. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in the car. Here he comes back to show you guys with the ice cream on it. I yeah, agree, Barb. Barb. Oh my God. Let me see. Oh, Let me boy. see it. Honey. Oh my gosh. Honey. <laughs> Doug. Yum. Oh my God. Nancy He's, M wants a little whipped cream. He still didn't show it. He did. Okay. I guess I, I missed it. Sorry. I'm sorry. I missed it. Oh, yeah, Tom. The melted butter. And whipped cream is good on it, too. Yum. Don't Maybe worry, Nana Patty. Ice you cream and whipped cream. Ice cream and whipped cream. <laughs> oh, mm. my gosh. Superb. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Now I'm going to have to make that this week. Oh, I am. Oops. What that happened? was Gordon. Oh, okay. He's through. He's had enough of us. Hey. Mm -hmm. He's he wants to eat in private. <laughs> He's so funny. Mm -hmm. He just goes away. Mm -hmm. Yep. I ain't get a chance to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gordon. Oh, Barb, yeah. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. <laughs> Talk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kristen Vita Sid is here. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Say hello to your your dear aunt for us. Yes. How nice. It's lovely to see you. 
It's very lovely. It is. Say hi to Aunt Phil Phyllis. Tell her we love her. Oh, good night, kindness cake. Take good care. Night, kindness cake. Good to see you. Sleep well. Bye, kindness cake. Well, I guess we could in this live, couldn't we? Since we've done all the cooking and and eating and all that good stuff. <laughs> Would you say no to Patty? I said we could in the live now. Should we mention what's coming up next? Mm-hmm. What we're gonna be doing? Yeah. Oh I believe it's yeah, I'm I believe Nancy. It's Jello and fruit cocktail. 26 that we're planning to do that Kristen, we're going to do rock absolutely. painting we're going to do a rock painting mm -hmm. yeah you, wendy you your, they showed the pie with ice cream too mm. do you have a rock a rock near you mm -hmm. oh, oh I'm, good you can show everybody oh i'm gonna wash my hands with all the um, Popcorn. I got like a little bit of oil on my hands. Yeah, Wendy, he did show a piece of a piece of the cobbler and then also with the ice cream on top. Yeah, you can rewind in a little bit when, when we're through with the live and check it out. All right, let's see. It looked delish. Mm -hmm. All right, I was picking out on that popcorn and I got like oil on my hands. All right, so we want to make the rock. Yeah. And that's just a plain, a plain old rock. It's painted black, right? The first time I ever did it. Then Patty, did, did you post anything yet? No, not yet. All right, so what day are we doing it? The 26th. We want to do this and she's going to put up the materials list right mm -hmm. oh but yeah all you all Beautiful. you need is and i'll just give you a preview there's a list of colors it's based on a video and we're going to put up the link to the video of this cute not, real sweet girl that does the videos that we really like and we're copycatting you know it's her video yeah her tutorial. Do it together. Right. Um, mm -hmm. She recommends these colors, but you don't have to use these exact colors. So if you have, you know, colors that are similar at home, it doesn't have to be this exact purple, this exact blue, this exact green. But we're going to put up the colors that she puts in her video just in case you want to get those colors. But you don't have to. But you mm -hmm. will need black and white. Because it's, you, our, it's our acrylic paint, right? It's acrylic. Acrylic. It's acrylic paint, and she uses some um, Deco Art Americana. She recommends that paint, acrylic. But I think you could use any acrylic paint that's in the bottle because that has the right consistency. It's got to be fairly thin. I never heard that, Wendy. But we're going to put the list Deborah, of ingredients, ingredients, like it's a cookbook or something. The list of materials in when Nana Patty posts it, mm -hmm. and it's just suggest it's just the colors that she happened to use, but you don't have to use them. But if you want to, Nana Patty's putting them in the um, yeah. community community uh, page post page mm -hmm. community page. But you'll need a big rock, black for the background, and white for the middle. And as far as um materials, you'll need one pencil with a new eraser on the end, a couple of Q-tips, right? Mm -hmm. um, a, did I say toothpicks? No. Okay, a couple of toothpicks. And she used for the middle, the lid of a chapstick, uh, a cap of a chapstick. But if you have like a large pencil, like a child's like, Pencil with an eraser, you could use that. 
or anything that gives you a round circle that's bigger than this eraser that's flat. Anything. It could be anything that you find at home. It could be a lipstick cap. It could be anything because you need a big round dot in the middle that's white. And you also so, have the choice that you could get stuff on Amazon also. They right, have the tools. You, right. And right. they also wanna, have the rocks. If you want to buy tools for it, you could just look on Amazon and they have tools. I'll show you what I got. But you don't need to. You could just use right. household items. You don't have to buy anything. Go at, and we'll, we'll link her video of this. And you can watch the video and see how she does it so you'll be prepared when we do it together. Mm -hmm. When is this craft day? March 26th. Hold on, let me get the, uh, let me get the uh, tool. Yeah, Doug, some of them here, and I've ordered them before from Walmart. Some are like 54 cents or something too. I think it's Apple Barrel. Some colors are, yeah. But you definitely need the white and the black, I think, to uh, definitely need to white put, the, and put black. it on the yeah. rock first, maybe. And you're going to need to paint your rock before we do the craft yeah, I mean, day. You, you should. You don't have. I mean, it dries real fast. But these are uh, people use for dotting because they see it needs something real flat. See? Mm hmm. But if you can, you know, if you want to paint it before that, before we start, then it'll be already done. You could do that. You and mean the painting so of the black or the white on the rock, you mean, right? Not, not the, the black, not the white. Right. Oh, the black. Okay. Um, and people use these little stylus things, the dots. Mm -hmm. And you can see they go up to like really big sizes. Like this is a bit much. But, and you know what else they use? The back of crochet hooks. Oh, wow. A set of crochet hooks and use the back. But you can buy these on Amazon and they're not expensive. If you want to just have tools that aren't like, oh, and you know what else I used? I had a couple of different size dowels, just regular plain wooden dowels that I used. But oh, for cool. this project, I literally only use Q-tips. The, the front end and the back end of a, of a toothpick, one that was peeled, all the cotton was peeled off and the other end wasn't. And the pencil and toothpicks, that's it. That's all I used. And this woman- Yes, do you see Doug, what he said? He said, yes, black and white is your base colors and you can use a hair dryer to dry- You know what faster. though? She Good. doesn't, the woman on this tutorial though, Doug, I don't know, you. it sounds like you've done this before, but she said, um, oh, you use them on your lures and you use yeah. a blow dryer? She says that when she does these, now, if you look at my dots, they're not really that great for dots, like the way she does it, because her dots are a little bit more dimensional. Mine are very flat. Like I've come to learn that like, when you do dots, you're supposed to have like, see how there's like a little like blob mm -hmm. in the middle a little bit? Like the dots are supposed to be a little bit more dimensional. Her, sure, you yeah. do get better at it as you go along. Yeah. And she says not to use um, the blow dryer on them because they, oh. they because they are dimensional, they can crack. Okay. But if I did, if I put a blow dryer to this, it would have been fine because you see this rock? Like, I didn't use a lot of paint. Like I didn't get you that like, dip in the middle. What about it for me? We're going to do that. Rock painting. Rock painting. I've seen them on Amazon too, but I mean, you can find them by the river or a lake. I don't know, really. And um, Florida Green Lady, why don't you like to use apple barrel paint? She said it's thin. It's a little thinner. Oh, it's too thin. Okay. Yeah. But isn't it supposed to be thin? It, well, well, it can be thin, but not too thin. Because then it right, runs. Right, not yeah. too thin. Mm-hmm. So she recommends um, the, um, what's it called? Deco Art and Deco. Deco Art Americana. I'll show you what it looks like. And Folk Art. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I didn't remember, but I had 
see, this is what I used for the project. Look, I have the dowels. I mean, and th this is what I used for that project. This is like my, my stash of stuff, right? Like I used um, the end of, um, which what you do is you take the Q-tip and you, you shape it with your fingers into a circle that's flat and you flatten it out on a surface. And then you take acrylic paint, white acrylic paint and you wet it and you shape it into that like flat round circle and you let it dry and that becomes your stamper. Wow. And then the other end, you take all the cotton off and you do the same thing. Put a little bit of white acrylic paint, you let it dry and that becomes your smaller size stamper. Hmm. And then you, you just have um, a wet rag and every time you use it, you just wipe it off. She keeps it real simple. And then this was my, um, I was using this end of, of this. Sometimes I, I use this end of the um, Q-tip sometimes. Like I felt like this was like a little wet. So I'd use this one. And then um, to do all these little tiny dots, it was the toothpick. <clears throat> wow. Wow. And then um, sometimes I even use the dowel. Yeah, because, you could like, experiment with different things. Because, like before you put it on the rock, you could see what, what sizes and stuff you Exactly, because like. you yeah. wanted this. What Basically, what you wanted to go is like successively, successive, successively larger and larger, mm -hmm. right? Start out small, go larger and larger and larger. So I experimented with some of these other shapes to try to make sure that I was getting gradually bigger and bigger and bigger. See what I mean? So pretty. Yeah. So it was my first time. So I was, you know, kind of experimenting, but it was all stuff I had in the house. It wasn't like I bought anything, but then I figured, you know, if I'm going to be doing more in the future, it wouldn't hurt me to get like some stuff, you know, some real equipment to really like delve into things. Like, cause like, say for instance, that if you look at my white dot, it's not really that circular. Cause I, I forgot what I used for that, but it wasn't that even because I, the thing I used wasn't like the best thing for the middle. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, I couldn't find something really good to use for that one circle. Didn't I mean, she say oh, to use like a chapstick lid? Yeah, but see my chapstick, that? her chapstick lid was flat like this. Mine yeah. was rounded. Yeah. So I couldn't get a good circle out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doug's got well, some I great tips. I couldn't, I couldn't use my chapstick lid. It wouldn't give me a good circle. So mm -hmm. I had to use something else. I don't remember what I used. But whatever I used didn't give me like the best circle. But I, I that was the best I could get. So, but then but I think Doug's giving you know, all kinds of good tips. He is. He does. He, he's done the lures and Bigger the Bigger dots, people. I use different size nail heads. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Good. Maybe he should... You know, what does he say? Well, if he's in the he chat, he could the maybe point off the toothpick and sand it flat and use that fingernail tooth. Wow, good, Doug. Is it okay not to be perfect? Because that's true. And if you notice, like, and this girl that does these tutorials always says it's art. So it doesn't have to be perfect because it's something you're creating. And that's really true. Like, yeah, if you look true, at Doug. mine, some of the dots touch themselves, touch each other. See? Because it's done by hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she says the same exact thing, Doug. Like, don't get on yourself if it's not absolutely. Yeah, like we usually do, perfect. Lisa, right? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so really good. Become... The nail heads is very good. Anything mm -hmm. that's flat, anything. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, and you know, it's true. My circle wasn't like perfect. Was I going to sit there all day waiting for like the perfect circle? I would have never done it. Yeah, no. I would have never got it done, you know? And then yep. Nana Patty and I would think of the next, maybe the next project we want to do is like a flower pot. So we have a couple of ideas. Oh, but... yeah, I got a flower pot. Yeah. So. so I, picked I, picked one up at a, I picked one up at a, the thrift store. 
for 50 cents. But it's a big one. But it's not big, but it's medium. I, I popped one in the mail for you, Lisa, a little one like oh, this. Oh, good. Thank you. So you'll have oh, a small good. one, too. Okay. Yeah. That's great. So it'll be fun. And Doug, it sounds like you could offer us some good advice, too. Because, yeah. listen, this is the only one I ever made. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm a newbie. Perfection is overrated. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, it has to be like really flat, really flat. And that's what I was, that's why I couldn't use the chapstick lid. Mm -hmm. Cause mine Doug, was curved. I just bought some of those the acrylic pens from Amazon to do on rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got them a Saturday. People who paint use many different things. Yeah. And you do get better at it, <laughs> you know. but it, it looks like so, it's so much fun. There was another tutorial that she did with a bottle that looked oh, that'd like be a lot of too. fun. And then Davida sent me something about neon paint on rocks. Yes, I've seen and those. I yeah. know. Go in oh, the dark. It's endless. April sunset, it's going to be fun. So is that neon, is that the glow in the dark one? Mm -hmm. Did I say yeah. neon? I meant glow in the dark. They yeah. have metallic, neon, neon they have metallic pens too, acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then they, they have like the, um, there's other ones like glitter acrylic pen. I mean, there's just, it's endless. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Look at how much the white adds to this. Mm -hmm. oh, that's neat. And then like you could dot on the dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I use round, not flat ends. It kind of gives a raised middle. Yeah. Sort of like this, like this, like these. Yeah. You know, That's I did find idea. some rocks. I did cheat a little and I found some real, and they were real rocks at um, Hobby Lobby. If you get desperate, you might try that. But they also sell them online, I think. Yes, you do get better. I love painting lures. I never thought I would. If it wasn't for my son burying, buying me the gear, I would have never realized it. Ow. Huh. Yeah, but Tonda, it is true because you, you know you want a pretty decent sized rock. You know mm -hmm. this isn't even really that big, but it was big enough for me to use. Yeah, I paid I think two thirty nine for five rocks at um the Hoblob. Yeah, river rocks. When it gets Very nice cool. weather, I'll go searching for some river rocks. Maybe right here, it's like very close by yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that'll be fun on the 26th i think we're going to start around one o'clock lisa's time 12 o'clock my time mm -hmm. should be fun mm -hmm. and there's so many people that have videos i mean i just happened to pick this young lady's video i liked what i saw and i liked I like that you could use any objects. You could be creative mm -hmm. and you don't have to buy anything. Yes. She yes, doesn't make a big deal out of anything. You know, That's she's great. like no sweat. Yeah. 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 I got a clear sealer too, I ordered. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to seal them up so I can put them in a rock there. garden maybe. I have a lot of pet rocks from the lake. Oh, nice. That's Nancy cool, them. Nancy. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. Is that on a Saturday? Huh? Is it on a Saturday? It's a Sunday, no, right? It's a Sunday. Is that okay, Tracy? If you want the rock to have a glossy finish and be hard to scrape paint off. Use DevCon to, to ton epoxy resin, 30 minutes work time, but it's more, I use a watercolor throwaway brush. Hmm. DevCon? So you put it on the rock? DevCon? 
Yeah, maybe Nana Patty could put that in the description in the yeah. Um, I just got a glossy spray that's good for those. What what is um you know off to bed. Thank you, Gordon, for the cobbler. Love oh, to you all. Stay well, safe. April. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed Thank too you. soon. Good night, April. It's past my bedtime. Aren't you impressed yeah. with me? Yes, yeah. I'm very impressed. I'm You're kidding. off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I guess we could say the prayer now and uh, close out. I think out. that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me get that pulled up. Okay. Yeah, Doug, you're really good on this. Thanks, it's Doug. Good. Give us any advice you think we could use, please. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I'd like to say a special thank you for sending Gordon to me and all the things he does for me. I appreciate it so much. Um, you just gave me the greatest gift ever. We um, also want to thank you for the food that we ha had tonight, for our shelter, for our needs that are met every day. Even, you know, we don't think about it, but you make sure our needs are met. I'd like to ask for special prayer for um, the following. And you know the need. You know what the needs are, Lord. You know if it's healing, if it's grief, um, just whatever it might be. And the people are Carol Boyce, Amy Reistad, Lady Bugtoe's mom and brother, Lord Colley's mom, Sherry Duvall, Susie B. for loss of, of her mom, Jeremy, Jelly Bean Nurse, Lisa D, Elvis Teresa, Davida, Tracy's niece's baby girl, Shannon M for a family member, Davida for Jason and his family, Danny, Muppets, Clarissa, Angie, Alicia, Nancy, Sherry, Shirley, Emily, Aurora, Carol Clark, Suzanne, Doreen, and Doug. In Jesus' name, we pray for these things. Amen. 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 Okay. Thank well, you all for we'll coming. Say, so great we'll to see everyone. Night. Thanks for coming, everybody. Maybe we'll Love get on to everyone later in the thank week. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you, Gordon. Yeah, thank you, Gordon and Nana. Thank you, Nana. Thanks for Patty. coming. Thank you to all for the this beautiful too, place for us out. all to come.